Wisconsin and Michigan. Now, the Badgers had a loss in their last game. So, not that they're reeling, but you lose this one against Michigan, and that's saying something, while the Wolverines are desperate to get a huge win on their side because they are a bubble team, and beating a team that's number 11 in the country would do wonders for you. So, social media night is the theme of our highlight, and there you see using your phone, and early on, you got Zach Irvin on the break here, taking it all by himself. Little stutter off the glass and in, and Sure enough, he's hopping afterwards, and Twitter is saying uh, Michigan says that that's a dope play. That's a bucket. There you go. That's proof. Social media night. Yeah. That's it for the highlight. Oh, no, we're going to have more of that. Uh, Derek Walton, here we go, rebounding off a miss, and he's going to become the first player in Michigan history with 1,000 points, 500 boards, and 400 assists. And so at you, Mish, B-Ball says in a class all by himself. That was on Instagram. Now, Ethan Happ, Shawnee, man, when he is good, he can do everything, like steal and finish, get layups. He's so talented. His footwork is outstanding, and Michigan single covered him in the first half, and they paid dearly Happ 18 points in the first 20 minutes. 18 points at the break. Second half was a very different story. Here's Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman for three. Free throw's good, and the Wolverines not only have cut the lead, they're leading now. They're up by four. Mo Wagner with defense. Walton gets it eventually back to him for the slam. And that was, let's look at it one more time, an aggressive play here. One, two, passes, no bounces, an emphatic two-hand slam. And that means Maggie Chang, Michigan fan, says, I had to pause my treadmill because I almost fell off it after that dunk. Let go! Later on, Rockman with the steal. Leads to Irvin, who had a nice game. And he was been really struggling offensively, got it going. Ironically, Mike, it was a banked in three, which kind of got Zach Irvin on track. He had 18 points on the day and more from Mo. You could just say Mo from Mo. 64 to 58. Michigan gets the victory on social media night. They are tied for sixth in the Big Ten. They are back to being above 500 in conference play. Wagner ends up with 21 points, three made three-pointers. Irvin, again, had 18 points. This is a guy who's gone four straight games with five points or less. Put it another way, he had five more points in this game than Irvin had in the last four games combined. Hap had a very good day with 22 points. Remember, 18 in the first half, only four in the second half. And we should point out, no Bronson Koenig in this game. He was injured. Sue Ann Roback talking afterwards. All right, thanks a lot here with Coach Beeline, and what an impressive win for your team. Knowing what you know about the schedule up ahead, is this just the type of win you needed? Yeah, the whole schedule that we had in February, I can check, I can thank Mark Rudner for. He did a great job of testing us during this time. Uh, but we ended up, uh, you know, we've had a, every game's been like this, and I, I think a game like this, you know, and, and let's not discount Bronson Koenig not playing is a big difference in this game. But at the same time, this is like a win and a half. This is like a, to, be, to beat an 11th ranked team that's as good as Wisconsin. Anywhere is really good, is just great for us as we try to build a, a very positive resume. Did you learn anything new about your team in this win? I love the way we fought back. They came out in typical uh, Wisconsin uh, fashion and owned the beginning of the second half. Just beautiful, the way they owned the beginning of games a lot of times. And then we fought back, and all of a sudden we're right in it. And then we made just enough plays with our defense to get trans. You don't get much transition offense against them. And we got it through steals and runouts. It was fun to watch. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, let's back to you in Chicago.